Hey, welcome to Level Pixel Level, and welcome to Driver's Masterclass. Today I'm just going to answer a question one of you asked. The question was, I have a node with a floating value of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3, and I want to convert this to 1, 2, and 3 uh, to an integer value, essentially. Um, how can I do this? So this is actually quite easy in Blender, and I'll show you how to do it right now, or how I would do it. So I have a pretty simple setup here. I have the Suzanne head and an armature here. On the armature, I just flipped to pose mode. I'm just going to add a custom property under the bone tab, and I'll just rename it to um, move. I'll put the value just to 0, 0.0 for now, just so it's not going to change when I add the driver in the first place. I'll also change the default value to 0, 0.0 as well. I'll just click OK. I'll right click on it, and I'll do copy as new driver. I'll flip to object mode, click on the Suzanne character here. And under the Y location, I'm going to right click and I'm going to do paste driver. Now, this will be working. This is all set up now. If I click on my property again and just dial it, I move that monkey there. OK, so first of all, let's convert it to an integer, which you can do in the drivers panel with script. So I'll just flip it to scripted expression. And I have the word move in here, and that's the variable that was added when I pasted the driver. I'm just going to wrap that up in parentheses here, and I'm going to add the word int in front of it. What that's going to do is it's going to convert this to an integer uh, through the operation. So I'll grab the controller again, I'll just dial it, and it snaps. It only goes from 0 to 1. It does not hit any of the values in between. Let's do one more thing. Under the expression, let's multiply move by 10. What this is going to do is when I hit 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, it's actually going to give me a value of 1, 2, and 3. And now I can actually move that along and snap that to those values. One tip, if you want to see this working, what you can do is under your properties panel, there's this pin icon right here. I can pin that into place. And then as I dial this with my property, I can see the update here, even though I don't have it selected. Kind of just a cool thing you can do in Blender as well. There's one more thing you can do with this. Uh, just one more tip, and that's you can put this as an absolute value. And what that's going to do is it's always going to give you a positive number. So I'll flip back to my property, and I'm going to edit it now to make the min minus 5 and the max 5. So because that's an absolute value, as I go in the positive direction, it's going to push it in the positive. And as I go in the negative direction, it's also going to push it in the positive. Kind of a fun driver to get like a ping pong effect or like a yo-yo effect. Anyway, I just want to answer that question. Big thank you to my patrons for supporting me in this video. It's because of them I get to make these videos. Head on over there if you want exclusive content, behind the scenes footage, and even early access to a lot of these videos. Talk to you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>